Good evening, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, and welcome back to Ilal Live. My name is Faraz Patel. We'd like to thank you, the viewer, for staying with us here tonight. Now, one of the big stories to come out of yesterday was the Muslim Judicial Council's Halal Trust. And they've adopted a policy position to not certify any goods or services emanating from Israel in an effort to boycott all Israeli companies and products. This comes after the Halal Trust released a statement declaring its unwavering stance in support of the besieged Palestinians by committing itself to ethical business practices. Joining us now from the MJC's Halal Trust is Sheikh Ahmed Siddiq. Sheikh, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and jazakallah so much for joining us. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and uh, shukran for the opportunity. Now it's an absolute pleasure. Okay, Sheikh, let's talk. How many Israeli products are there that are certified by the MJC within South Africa? Um, that is a, a question that I can't immediately answer you in the sense of if I'm going to give you a figure, mm. uh, then it wouldn't be the right figure because we only declared it yesterday mm. uh, because we adopted the position and we made it clear that that is our position. And we obviously will have to now do the due diligence of the companies that we are um, registered with us for the halal certification to make sure that they are um, uh, certified by us. And if they are fall in this particular ambit of having goods, you know, from Israel or any goods, um, or they are a company that is um, fall as a subsidiary of an Israeli company, mm. which is based in Israel or somewhere there. Um, and then we will obviously put them into this particular ambit. Um, and then we will obviously sever the, the relations. But because from a Sharia point of view, you have a contractual relationship with them. Mm. And um, so these things need to be communicated to them. So the letter went to them as we did went to public to all our companies, um, we now have to do the due diligence. Once we find this is the particular company uh, that we are already under our certification, um, and they fall within this particular um, conditions that we have laid down or the stance we've taken, um, then we will obviously have to go into um, uh, sever the, 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 the relationship of certification with them. Um, so that's basically where we're at. And we are now, for the past day now, um, we already went through the companies um, and we have not completed the processes yet. Therefore, I can't tell you exactly um, the, the products that each company did. And that's a very tedious process in any case. Mm. Um, go and find out now all the products because the products which we certify uh, are halal products. Mm. Now, for instance, if there may have been a product uh, that is that came from Israel, um, which I doubt that we have certified because the rule is for the certification, you have to give us your raw material list, mm. of what we are supposed to certify for you, right? And um, <clears throat> so when that list comes in, uh, that list, we obviously see if it's halal, the, the products in there is halal and so forth. So then we declare, uh, if everything is okay, then we declare it as halal. Um, this time around, now I can say already in that process, we have not picked up uh, the, 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 the products um, that, we've has, that we have certified in that particular entity uh, came from Israel, because we've had this particular type of policy, you know, of previous practices which we've had of boycotts uh, in the past when um, obviously what is happening now is the worst that is happening. Mm -hmm. But there were obviously aggressions by the Israelis in the past and we had boycotts in the past. Um, so we've had this particular vigilance behind in our minds. But this time around we felt now we have to just say, okay, this is what you are taking because it's a decision that will now sustain ourselves from now till, you know, um, this whole, um, the Palestinians get their freedom 
And um, we are obviously breaking the back, trying to break the back of whatever aggression uh, is happening towards our brothers and sisters uh, in Palestine, Sheikh, and especially in Nazi Gaza. Sheikh, sorry, I have to stop you there. I want to talk about the consultation period because the ruling, of course, was made yesterday. What is the time frame, the window that you are looking at where the MJC is obviously going to finally, of course, not have that certification for these uh, Israeli goods and products uh, in the future? Um, we, uh, for, for the, like, we, we're going through our list, right? So I would say maybe by next week, we may be able to declare, you know, um, uh, whatever company, if there are companies uh, that we find that they have um, either stakeholder in uh, Israeli company or Israeli company is owning them uh, or the products. Um, but I can give you a guarantee uh, as far as if there is um, any product that they um, may have uh, um, imported. So that is what we are busy doing, scrutiny, scrutinizing now the products once again. And that is we're doing it digitally. Uh, because we already have the, 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 the lists. So that is what we can do. So therefore, I say maybe by next week, inshallah, uh, we will be coming out with our statement to say, okay, which we have found um, at least uh, if there is. If there isn't, and then obviously uh, we will also declare that. And there's something we need to understand. Mm. Um, you know, people have the misperception that we are certifying, I just want to make this point, if you don't mind. They have the misperception, if you say, for instance, a supermarket, right? Now they think we certify a supermarket. We are, we've never ever certified a supermarket, mm. any supermarket. It's impossible to certify an entire supermarket unless it is strictly Muslim-owned mm. and, um, and they give us full control over whatever they have in the supermarket, right? And that control is we have to manage it and we have to supervise it. So what we do in the practice of the Halal Trust was we would certify sections in the supermarket. Like if you take, um, I don't want to mention the company now, uh, but the supermarket, then we will do the deli, we will do the bakery, we will do the butchery, we will do the fast foods, and we will do the, did I say daily already? Yeah, um, the, inter, the interactive counter, where you have those particular prepacked meals and so forth, uh, you know? So that is what the only thing that we would certify, because if you look at the shelves, various products goes onto the shelves. So those things, uh, uh, and they obviously uh, buy it from um, uh, suppliers, um, then you find that's another one. Now, the supplier, our rule is, say, for instance, you buy from Hilal TV, right? And Hilal TV um, is now the slaughterhouse. Then we will have to say, you can't buy from uh, Hilal TV unless we have certified, or Halal TV is certified Halal, the processes they are doing there, and they are supplying you. So that's how we get the supplier's halal certificate again, right? Um, so it's a whole chain. It's a whole chain that is happening here. And therefore, it's uh, like I say, uh, we have to do the due diligence of checking uh, whatever it is before we declare anything. But the public needs to understand why we are saying, if you look and you see, okay, this is that they put on that product, is uh, Israeli, it comes from Israel or whatever it be, that can guarantee you, we can guarantee you that we haven't certified. Sheikh, uh, uh, the final question, because we just got under two minutes. Uh, do you, are you preparing as the MJC for any legal ramifications from this? Because I would assume that these companies uh, that are, of course, uh, based from Israel or have stakeholding in Israel will say, well, we don't want this to be the case. And they're obviously going to look at a legal way for this. So are the MJC prepared for any uh, legalities with regards to the decisions that will be finally made from your side? Right. Now, therefore, I said we're doing our due diligence because we are aware of it. We are, from an Islamic point of view and from a legal point of view, in a contractual relationship with them. Right? So, for instance, 
we are now in our renewal period, right, where we will renew the certificates for 2024. If we find them guilty of, you know, contravening our rule that we have made now, right, mm -hmm. then we will tell them, sorry, we're not going to renew your certificate for next year. If we demand that they must, you know, we will, we will withdraw it now, um, the only thing I think possibly they're going to say, okay, fine, we've already paid you, so you have to pay us now uh, pro rata mm. for the period that is still left. Now, all our certificates go for one year till December of that particular year. So which means if we tell this particular company uh, we are not going to renew you, for you for 2024, then we are not contravening the contract because in other words, it's our right to, to accept or to refuse. If we tell them, okay, you're still in our contract, we're not going to renew you for next year until we are withdrawing our certificate immediately on this basis of what we've made. The only legal leg they may have is to tell us, okay, fine, um, that is not my opinion. I mean, and that is all the due diligence, what we have to do uh, when this thing, the ramifications we have to look at. So then we will give them the pro rata, uh, whatever they've paid us for the year, uh, because you have to pay in, the, in advance, right, for the certificate. So then we will pay out the difference and give them the, that is the difference, and that's our relationship at the end of the day, very amicably. Uh, there's no hard feelings. Uh, you've taken, you know, and that's basically where it is. Sheikh, my um, uh, time, time is against us, but uh, we'd like to thank you so much. Jose, shukran to you for uh, just giving us a breakdown, of course, what that ruling made uh, by the Halal Trust yesterday. We really appreciate it. Okay, thank you very much, and thank you very much for the opportunity. And nice. I hope I've answered my questions accordingly. No, you have, you have definitely done that, Sheikh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. That's uh, Sheikh Ahmed Siddiq. Uh, he is a director from the MJC's Halal Trust. Now, after the break, uh, we all know the big one that's happening this weekend, uh, the Rugby World Cup final at the Stade de France in Paris. I'll be talking to a former World Cup winner, a Springbok World Cup winner in Henny LaRue to look ahead to that game happening on Saturday. Do stay tuned to Hilal Live.